if I if I was gaming though, I pro like if we were genuinely playing Whoa, game, I could probably Oh my last boy. Game Gamer guide donated five bucks. Hey, this guy actually yeah, and he's, I would have said it anyway. This guy also makes like this fan animation called Sonic Rebound. Um, he made right. episode two. Dude, when I watched his episode two, I I was like, look, I was in tears. And it wasn't because it's like this amazing thing or anything. But it, I mean, it is. It's fantastic. But it was mostly because I saw that it's like the talent that goes behind making it is something so insane that I just like, it just shook me. And I was like, man, I need a, I need to get a, my series to be at that level even higher. So that's so um, cool. definitely a gamer guy. Just look him up on YouTube, Sonic Rebound. It's a, it's like a fan series, kind of like my Return to Zootopia. It's fantastic. Hey everyone, what's up? Gamer Guide here, and that was from one of Brown Table's live streams. He was doing a charity live stream, and he gave uh, my series Sonic Rebound Episode Two a huge shout out. Now, if you guys know who Brown Table is, he has like over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, he's like uh, he's not like a film critic; he's a film student. But, you know, he's in the film community, so he talks about movies, mostly comic book movies and the art of filmmaking and all that stuff. So that's a huge honor for me to get a shout out from him. And he was with his friends High Top Films and all that. As you guys know, High Top Films, he talks about um, the Spider-Man movies a lot, especially the Raimi films. So that's a huge compliment coming from him. All right, guys, uh, Sonic Rebound Episode 2 was a huge success. Episode 2 Fallout was such a huge success. It already has over 46,000 views in just two weeks. And episode one, the pilot, has like 54,000 views. So in less than 10,000 views, Fallout is going to surpass Aftermath real soon. So thank you all so much for all the support you've given to me on this series, especially in episode two. I told you all I bring the heat back for this and I delivered, you know, and I even wrote in my Twitter that looks like I had the last laugh because, you know, the naysayers and the haters that were like, oh, episode two animation is going to be crap. And it's like, nah, you know, you learn from your mistakes and all that. This episode is getting a lot more attention from big YouTubers and just bigger people like Adam Bryce Thomas, who's one of the artists of the Sonic comics, Sonic IDW comics. He also did um, the art of issue two, which was, uh, you know, Fallout. And yeah, and he really loved what I did. He shared it on his Twitter and even commented on it when I uh, posted the, the full episode. So huge shout out to Adam Bryce Thomas. Thank you for that. Thank you for supporting the series as well. And it just means a lot when you get complimented from the, the creators behind what you're, you know, what you're doing. So yeah, this is only the beginning and I got a lot, you know, planned for the future. So yeah, I got a lot planned for the future. And uh, yeah, so the views of this episode has already doubled the views for the pilot. Which is, you know, it's just, it's crazy. Because the pilot, I mean, this is already about to surpass the pilot's views. And unlike the pilot, it's not losing steam at all. It's just picking up more steam. More people are reacting to it. More people are commenting it. You know, for a while, this was actually trending on Twitter from the day I posted it two weeks ago, November 4th. Like, if you type Sonic, it had, like, the, the Sonic movie trending. And then followed by that was... Uh, Sonic Rebound. So that that was something. I've never had anything go near trending on a social media site like Twitter ever. So this is huge. And this is only episode two. Who knows? I mean, just imagine what episode three, four, and so on is going to get. So yeah, also, you know, it was not a cakewalk making this episode. A lot of rewrites on the script had to be done. A lot of edits, a lot of cuts. You know, we had to change a lot of things. There are some deleted scenes that I'm going to show you guys right now. Scenes that got cut and didn't make it into the final cut. Scenes that got fixed or remodified. All that jazz. Some things got flipped, rearranged, mirrored. That's just the whole magic of movie making, you know? That's the whole gist of it. And uh, gotta give a big thanks to Lee J Animations, because Lee J was definitely the one putting in the most work for this episode. Double K helped too, but Lee J did the most work for this entire episode, and he also picked up the slack. So kudos to him. He'll be returning for episode four, Resilience of Sonic Rebound, so I can't wait for that. If you guys really loved his art style animation, you're gonna see him return you're going to see it again in episode four. So when's the next episode coming out? Episode three. And at first, I was going to make it a Christmas release, but the production of it is going kind of slow. So I think we're going to have another 100 day wait and for it to come out in February instead. But uh, episode four is coming out in March. So that'll be cool. That'll be a back to back episode three and episode four. 
And uh, yeah, March is going to be Sonic Rebound Month because March marks first year anniversary of when I announced or revealed the title of Project Sonic R. You remember, guys, when it was called Project R in January, then February I called it Project Sonic R, and then March it was called Sonic Rebound. So March next year will make it a year anniversary that, you know, Sonic Rebound was revealed. So that's going to be a big month. Also, I'm about to hit 50,000 subscribers, guys. So I'm going to do a Q&A. And uh, that's why I didn't want to answer questions on this video. I just wanted to talk about, just give you guys an update about Sonic Rebound and the future of the series. But once I hit 50K subs, any questions you guys have for me, whether it's my channel, the future of my channel, uh, Sonic Rebound series, ask them away. I'm going to make a video for that and I will answer all your questions. Now... As you guys have known who've been following news, you all have heard about the whole FTC COPA deal and um, the whole controversy with that coming next year, which means they're going to be flagging a lot of videos that they deem is kid friendly and animation is going to be the one taking the full force of this. They're going to leave gaming alone for the most part. That's what I heard from YouTube gaming, but they're not going to leave animation alone. Doesn't matter how vulgar, how adult your animation is like has been hotel. They're still going to market for kids, and that could mean trouble for the future of Sonic Rebound. I don't know what's going to happen. I just got to keep my fingers crossed. You know, a lot of YouTubers are fighting this, taking this to court or taking this to Washington, D.C. to speak out to the people behind FTC and the Copa, Copa law. And um, yeah, a lot of people are taking action. So all is not lost. Let's hope this goes through. You know, I was joking saying that, oh, if the law actually passes, and they start flagging animation as kid friendly, I'm gonna start having characters just cussing in every episode of Sonic Rebound. That's still not gonna mean anything because it's still gonna get flagged, which is completely dumb and just unfair and doesn't make any sense because you're not protecting kids at all. You know, kids are still gonna be watching vulgar animation or animation that's geared towards adults. So it's a very flawed system. And this is all because YouTube got sued about something, I think it was $160 million for using data collecting data from children from minors i mean youtube is the one that's to blame why are they throwing the blame on us creators we had nothing to do with this it sucks you know that we have to pay for youtube sins but whatever you know i just hope that uh things continue remaining the way they are and uh yeah otherwise i don't know you know this might be the end of sonic rebound and it just started but let's hope not and for you guys who don't know if my series gets flagged for kid friendly that means you can't comment on the videos, I can't put them in playlists, I can't share them. Basically, they will be hidden and the revenue will greatly increase and you guys can't subscribe, you can't hit the notification bell. It's kind of like it's killing my channel. So you guys won't be able to share it and it's just not going to grow as much. But yeah, man, can't wait to continue with Sonic Rebound series. You know, all that hate we got in the pilot just motivated us to do even better and we delivered. So also, by the end of this month, November 29th, I will be holding auditions for uh, Sonic Rebound future episodes. You know, we're looking for roles for Shadow, Silver, The Chaotix, which includes SBO, Victor, and Charmy, and also Rouge. I will let you all know when I'm ready to hold auditions for that. Once again, guys, thank you for the huge support. I can't even express how thankful I am to you guys. It's because of you guys I've been able to do three animations in the past year. Super Swag Bro Z, Sonic Rebound, F1, and now F2. So thank you so much. Smash like button, comment, subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell. Share this. Who knows the future of this website called YouTube when FTC intervenes. But that wraps it up for today, guys. Until next time, swag out.